With a dramatic increase in cat fostering and adoption during this pandemic, it's important to know how we can best take care of our feline family members for the perfect life. Here to share cat care tips for quarantine is veterinarian Dr. Natalie Marks. Welcome. Good morning, Aubrey. Thanks for having me. So doctor, this Saturday, August 22nd is take your cat to the vet day. Americans love their cats. Why the need for a take your cat to the vet day? Well, you know, there's a lot of reasons that we're seeing a large gap in annual veterinary care for cats. A lot of cat owners feel that the experience of taking their cat to the vet is really stressful, even from the time they try to take their cat into the carrier. And there's a lot of misunderstandings about the cost of health care and also just the health care that cats truly need. So we're encouraging cat owners to get curious and understand the triggers within their home. You know, I mentioned the cat carrier as an example. I encourage all cat owners to leave their cat carrier out as part of the furniture every day. Leave the door open, feed your cats inside of it, make it a safe, cozy space for them, not a trigger for stress. So we want everyone to get involved with the annual campaign, hashtag cat to vet. That's cat, the number two vet, and it celebrates National Take Your Cat to the Vet Day, August 22nd. It's encouraging cat owners not only to see their cat, uh, see their veterinarian for their regular exams with their cat, but that continuous learning about their cat's health and behavior and nutrition. Do you have any tips for when you take your cat into a vet's office? What are what can you do to make the process smooth? Yeah, it's a great question. From day one, I encourage daily touch time with your cat. So ear rubs, nail trims, brushing, whatever we can do to desensitize our cat to being touched. So when they go to the veterinary office, it's a lot less stressful. When it's time to take your cat to the vet, remember, Pheromone wipes and sprays are great inside your house to relax your cat, but they're also super helpful inside the carrier and in the car to make the trip less stressful. You can play calm music at an appropriate volume, and that <laughs> creates this sort of spa-like experience in the car for your cat and for you. And then when you do get to the veterinary office, it's really important to tell your veterinarian if you're seeing any of the worry signs that we have at home. So that could be unexplained weight loss in your cat, increased thirst or urination, any decrease in appetite or energy, or even a lack of grooming. And what makes a veterinarian's office cat friendly? Great question. So if you're looking for a practice like that, they're gonna have a separate cat waiting area for you and your cat, where your cat carrier is up and elevated off the ground, and it's free from any unfamiliar sights or smells or sounds, or even an unexpected visit from another pet in the lobby. And that goes for the exam room too. We want that cat carrier elevated, time for your cat to acclimate to the room and places to climb. And it's something as simple as giving kittens that yummy treat in the exam room. So they have this affirmative link that the exam room is a friendly space for them. And make sure they're handling kittens properly because feline friendly handling is key to that positive veterinary experience. And the way that kitten is handled from day one sets the precedent for the rest of his or her life. And doctor, are you doing telehealth visits? Maybe someone doesn't want to bring their cat in person. Such a great question. You know, quarantine has made it a lot harder for some cats to see the vet, but thankfully telehealth is on the rise. Call your veterinarian and see if they're offering virtual appointments because a lot of them are. But Royal Canin is offering a great free service to cat owners through ask.vet. So you can access this website and be connected to a licensed veterinarian 24 seven from the comfort and safety of your home. And if that veterinarian feels that your cat needs to be seen immediately, they will send you the three closest emergency animal hospitals to your location. Great information, Dr. Natalie Marks. Thanks for joining us with those cat care tips. And you can join the hashtag cat to vet movement and visit royalcanon.com.